Hello, it's me again, Ella from The Spine Team. The materials that you add to your design can make a huge difference. For example, showing your designs like this isn't the same as showing your designs like this. Just like we taught you how to create iridescent materials, this time we are going to show you how to add a glossy effect to your design and give them a smooth, shiny, and clear appearance. So you can add a special glossy, shiny touch to your designs. All right, let's get started. So we're going to start off using this seam. Now the star ingredient that will make this glossy is the matte cap. A matte cap, which is short for material capture, is like a special sticker that gives your 3D shape their shine or bumpy look. Once you place a matte cap on your object, suddenly it's going to appear more smooth or glassy, shiny, or even like metal. Depends on the matte cap that you apply. To apply it in spline, just click on your object, then click on the plus icon and select the matte cap option. Here you can choose from several matte caps. Or if you prefer, you can upload your own by clicking here. And let's rotate my camera and you can see how glossy it is. But I want to keep the original color of my design and just maintain the shiny effect. So to do that, we have to go over to the blend mode. So let's select the blend mode screen so we can get the color of our object but maintain the shininess of our matte cap. When you apply screen as your blending mode, the matte cap blends to the color underneath, making the darker areas of the matte cap disappear or become transparent, while the lighter areas mix with the color and make the result brighter. So an easy way to think of it is that the light areas of the matte cap make the base color brighter and the darker areas of the matte cap become invisible or transparent. You can also adjust the opacity here to adjust the intensity of the matte cap. I'm just going to lower this a little bit because we don't need it so intense. And basically with that, adding a matte cap and adjusting the blend mode, you can create this glossy effect for your design. And I'm going to quickly apply this effect to the rest of the cup. Another thing you can do with matte caps is adjusting the rotation. Simply go here and you can rotate this to achieve different results. In Spline, we animate using states, so if you want to animate the rotation of your matte cap, just have different values in your different states and you'll see that texture animated. And some other textures that we want to call out to enhance your glossy effects are the rainbow layer and the Fresnel layer. The rainbow layer creates this iridescent effect this helps to create surfaces that gradually change color depending on the viewing angle or how the light changes. The Fresnel layer displays a color that fades as it gets closer to being parallel with the camera angle. This effect is handy for creating shiny or metallic surfaces. You can copy and paste materials or create material assets to easily apply the same materials to multiple objects. To copy and paste the material, just right click on the layer where the material is and then go to your scene. Right click on the layer of the object where you want to apply the material to and paste. Here's just a quick reminder on how to create material assets if you don't already know. Once you have your material defined, just click on these four icons and hit that plus icon. Now simply name it however you'd like and you're set. To apply this material asset to other objects, just click on any element in your scene, click on the four point icon, and select the material asset that you created. If you want to edit a material asset, simply click here and modify it. Just keep in mind, this will affect all of the elements using that material asset. You can also click on this icon to unlink the material asset from the object and make it adjustable without affecting the others. Now this jelly texture has to be one of my favorites. Let's learn how we can create it. First thing we want to do is adjust the color. You can use a depth layer using the screen blending mode to enhance the detail of the jelly. Now let's add a matte cap. Click here, select the matte cap option. 
The truth is you can try any of these options, but select this one here. This one's probably the best for this. For the blend mode, let's select screen. You can also adjust the layer order and the settings in the lighting layer. For this design, we've opted for overlay on the lighting layer to help enhance the contrast of the lighting, just allowing the details to pop a bit more. And to achieve the final touch of transparency in our jelly, we need to add a glass material. So let's position the glass layer here. By clicking here, you can easily adjust the blur, thickness, and refraction settings. Now let's set the glass material to multiply. A tip for textures is that you can combine different blending modes in the same material. For example, let's duplicate this glass layer. Now let's change the opacity and change the blending mode to overlay. So the glass with the blend mode of multiply is great for making the base color richer and deeper, while the glass with the overlay layer really makes those highlights pop. And so together they can create this vibrant mix of colors to make this shiny surface look super glossy while keeping the cool depth and dimension. Explore tweaking the opacity in the blend mode settings for each layer however you'd like. This lets you fine tune everything to get the perfect look for your project. Have fun experimenting. In our community, you can find a ton of resources from other spline designers, including collections of materials like these. And you can just remix these scenes and explore the materials to learn how they were created. And a fun tip is that you can download matcaps from any file. Just open up the matcap layer like this and then click on this icon to download the matcap. As a reminder, the material library is another quick way to get started with a variety of ready to use materials. Choose the category you'd like, add it to your scene, and then you can customize it however you want. Each category has a limited number of free materials. If you want to access the full library, that requires a starter, professional, or team subscription. There are a ton of material combinations that you can explore and create, so let us know in the comments what other materials or textures you would like to learn. And we hope to see your glossy design soon. See you in the next one. Bye.